Okay, so when I was recording this video, I didn't realize how dead I sounded when I was making the poster, so... It's that one thing when you concentrate and you can't be informational and fun, I guess, at the same time, so sorry about that. Anyway, sorry that this tutorial is heavily visually based, and you're gonna have to see what I do more than I explain it, because, you know, kinda... You'll see. Anyway, here's the video. Okay, so to begin photoshopping a poster, one thing that you should do first is fix the broken textures. Things such as this. You see how some of these are a little too pointy and some of these are grainy? In Photoshop, you can use the smudge tool to fix a lot of this stuff, so I'm gonna spend some time smoothing out some of these textures. A uh, brief tutorial on the smudge tool is uh, you just want to put the strength dot on 100% most of the time and just rub and it smooths it out. One thing you can do with the smudge tool is just extend the shadows of and shorten them as well. One of the ways you can fix broken textures is you can use the polygon lasso tool and just carve around it. Then you can take your eyedrop tool and that takes the color, take it like something where really near it, and then just use a brush and fill it in. Then control D to unselect. Another way to fix broken textures is to go into Filter, Liquify, and then you can just make your brush smaller, make sure it's on 100%, and just try to eye it and make it look smooth. You can also do the same thing like extending shadows, although it might look a little strange, but you can fix that later. One cool thing that you can do is you can use the liquify tool to extend things like, the, like in this case, his beard to different lengths to get a more nicer look. Then after fixing all the broken textures, I like to add some exposure. For basic posters, you could stop here, but I like to do some other things after this step. A good way to add smoke is to make a new layer and draw the shape of smoke. Then you get the smudge tool again and if you rub it enough in, a, in specific directions you can make it look like smoke. You don't really- I'm using a drawing tablet to do this but you don't really need a drawing tablet to make smoke in my opinion. And you can mess with things like the layer properties to just experiment with different things. Then I use the oil paint filter to quickly just 
smooth out the lines. Control U, you can change the hue and saturation of a layer. Now, harder things to do is drawing on effects. What I'm doing now is drawing over the highlights so it'll give it a more poppy effect when I edit it a little bit more. Then I like to get the burn and dodge tool to add some extra lights and create some extra shadows as well.
Now to add the unusual effect. This is the harder part, but it's somewhat simple. <laughs> And yeah, that's how you Photoshop a SFM poster. Hope you learned something. By the way, if you couldn't tell, uh, the guy that I made the poster for was Mysterious Ranch, my friend. So that's... yep. See ya.